What's up, J Nation? What's going on? It's the 2nd of August here. It's about 3 o'clock, getting about a half an hour early start. Uh, has some stuff to do this evening, so going to be going to do that. Put out my vlog today, got that all finished, all the editing done, the music made, and everything for you guys, so it's all out there. I posted, it's live, so and I'm organizing the channel a little bit better to make it easier for you guys to look at stuff, so that's what I'm working on right now. But today is deadlift day today. Got the platform all set up, the bar set up, getting ready to go here. Got some more scruff going on, shaved the other night, but yeah, so that's what's going on here. Raining out today, so on and off, no sun out there, no vitamin S. So, as you see, no tan going on right now. Hopefully get some vitamin S coming up here in a few days. We'll see. Uh, yeah, so that's going on right now. I'm going to get started here, get moving, got to get cranking. Have my lunch, wait about an hour after lunch or so. So hopefully that sugar will be in my system, nutrients, everything to get this workout going. Um, got my water and stuff, going to have be hydrated and uh, try and take my rest in between sets. Uh, we're looking at top effort here, plus 90% with the deadlift, then set to three for singles and then uh, move on to the next exercise. I'll talk to you in between, let you know what's going on, let you know how I'm doing, and uh, time to get started, get to work, and J. Anthony's out of here. All right, J Nation, what's going on? As you can see, what's next here? Dumbbell row. Got 145 on here, not including a dumbbell handle. You can look online, figure out how much it weighs. Should be, uh, I don't know, maybe around 10, 15 pounds, I guess. So 145 without the weight. That's how I've been doing it the whole time on all my vlogs. So it's my top work set here. Then I, I top set, and then I do my three uh, sets there, work sets after that. I'll let you know what that is uh, when I do the uh, post vlog there. I gotta calculate, figure out, look at my logbook and figure that out, what's going on there. Breathe a little bit heavy. Take about a minute, minute and a half, rest in between. We'll see how that goes, you know, maybe a little bit quicker. It's hard to time when you're switching over this and making your own dumbbells. So just estimate right now, take a little bit of rest in between, probably a little less than that, a uh, minute and a half, but that's what I'm going for today. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna get this on the vlog here and I uh, get back to work. All right, out of here. What's going on, J Nation? Moving right along, what I got next? I got the uh, close grip pull down. I got 50 pounds on there for my warm up, 10. Moving right along to my top set, trying to figure that out right now. I got the booklet out, checking that out. But what crazy on me, right up there, pull up bar. <laughs> Did close grip pull ups like I usually do. Went crazy, like I was just saying. I uh, added weight, two and a half pounds for the second uh, single, and then five pounds for the third with the dip belt. Never did that before, so that's the first time doing that. First time for you guys to see it, so a first. Yeah, so I uh, hope you enjoy that part right there. Um, try and get you some more wicked angles with this, but it's the last uh, exercise right here. So top single, gonna figure that out, get the calculator out. So you always have a calculator in your gym bag, figure out percentages, and be able to adjust as needed. And then do uh, three work sets right there, and then three sets of three. I might talk to you after, uh, three singles to uh, before the three sets of three and let you know what that weight's gonna be. So yeah, so moving right along here, a little short of breath, but uh, yeah, that's because I'm working hard. So, uh, well, for me, maybe not for other people, but for me, and uh, yeah, so you'll see how this goes here and I hope you're enjoying the videos. All right, I'm out of here, time to get back to work. All right, Nation, what's going on? As you can see, I got the close to pull down. Doing three sets of three, three sets of three. Got 160 on here after some uh, calculations and stuff like that. Like that, looking back in the log book and uh, comparing stuff, I figured I'll go with this. It should be uh, around 80%, maybe a little bit less. I mean, actually, maybe about five pounds more. 
right around there. I want to put a little extra weight on the table, so that's what I'm doing today. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get back to work here and get these three sets of three in, and uh, here we go. Time to get to work. What's up, G Nation? What's going on? Just having to cool down right now. Just finish up calisthenics, stretches. I'm just gonna hang out here for about five minutes, go get changed real quick, go get some food on the road, and uh, just do the stuff that I need to do this evening. And uh, yeah, just uh, hanging out down here, gonna talk a little bit. Just finished up uh, with what I just told you, but my last exercise was three sets of three with the uh, close grip pull down. Just wanna get full extension, uh, you know, and uh, full contraction, and try to get a pause at the top, pause at the bottom really uh, work on the movement and stuff like that and interact in the muscles and uh, firing those neurons, getting those muscles fired, getting the mu most motor activity I can get out of my muscle and really thinking about you know, how that muscle's working and stuff and really trying to get some hypertrophy and stuff going on there. I realize that everybody does a lot more uh, reps or sets or stuff like that by trying to decrease that rest and uh, do uh, you know, more in a more, uh, how would you say, uh, limited time frame there so I can get that muscle pump and I do get somewhat of a pump, not as much as what, you, you know, what you're doing there, but I do want to also get the weight at the same time that I'm trying to get. So uh, that's that's how I work things out and that's what works for me. You gotta find out what works for you and some stuff works better for other people. Some people grow with uh, different uh, set rep schemes and volume schemes and uh, weight schemes and stuff. So it it's all depends, it all depends on uh, what your nutrition's like, what your rest is like and uh, how often uh, you're working out. So yeah, and that will be rest. But uh, you know what I'm talking about there. But uh, yeah, so they, uh, that's what basically how I'm working things out right there. And uh, they call it a cluster set. Some people call it that. I just call it you know an increase in volume. You know, as everything's just closer together, that way I get more work in and stuff throughout my workout in the two-hour time frame. This is about two hours today. So uh, yeah, so a uh, good workout. Hit the uh, percentages I want to hit. Hit the weights I want to hit. So I'm happy with that. Did some extra stuff. Add a little bit of extra weight. Extra five pounds on some of the stuff. So that was good too. And um, got you some different angles, especially with the dumbbell rows and everything. Got you both sides there instead of just on one side. So you can see both sides get the full contraction and stuff like that on both sides, what I'm doing right there. But yeah, so that's what I was working on today, getting those angles and getting some uh, different stuff and different looks and everything else. So that's what I'm doing, trying to upgrade uh, to the you know, next level with uh, giving you a quality product on uh, YouTube and stuff. I hope I get some more viewers and subscribers. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head on out here and get moving and uh, get changed and head out the door. But uh, like, subscribe, thumbs up, seven up. Um, send an email, leave a comment below, tell a friend. And uh, like I said, get your nutrition in, get your games in, get your workouts in whenever you can. And uh, that's it. And what else? I don't think I have anything else. And J. Anthony's out of here.